Hey and I, and today we're going to be learning about the radioisotope technetium 99M. Technetium 99M comes from the Greek word technetos, meaning artificial. This is because it is produced in a nuclear reactor. Technetium 99M is a metastable isotope of technetium. This means that in order for technetium 99M to reach a stable condition, it needs to release energy. Technetium 99M does this by emitting gamma rays. Gamma rays are very high frequency electromagnetic radiation. It is able to penetrate paper and thin sheets of metal, but is stopped by a centimeter of lead or a meter of cement. This is very useful in nuclear medical processes, as it emits 140 electron volts, which is easily detectable when using a gamma camera. Technetium 99M is most commonly used isotope within nuclear diagnostic testing. It is used in over 20 million procedures every year for bone, kidney, heart, lung, liver, spleen and thyroid scans and also studies of blood flow looking for tumours. This is done by injecting technetium 99M into the body using a syringe which shields the medical practitioner from the technetium 99M. Once injected, a gamma camera is used which allows gamma rays being emitted around the body to be detected and analysed for any defected organs. The benefits of using technetium 99M are it is able to easily diagnose tumours and blood flow issues quickly and more accurately, allowing recovery to start sooner. It has a half-life of six hours. This means that it is long enough for the procedure to take place, but short enough that the patient is unlikely to be affected by the exposure to radiation. Its short half-life also means that it excretes from the body very quickly, leaving little to no radioactive damage. Technetium 99M is also effective as it emits gamma rays which allows for more accurate positioning of imaging detectors. However, there are some problems with using technetium 99M. These are, although it is unlikely, technetium 99M is radioactive, so there are, is an increased chance that cancer or other health effects may result due to the exposure of radioactivity. This, also, the use of technetium 99M creates nuclear, nuclear waste which is not only costly but difficult to dispose of. It is also a very costly procedure as it requires nuclear generators for technetium 99M to be produced. Despite all these issues, using technetium 99M and its incredible medical uses overweigh these issues as we are able to quickly identify and start recovery if tumour and or blood flow issues are discovered.